This video shows basic operation of Virtual Pool 4. We're going to show you all the controls that you need to start playing. So I'm creating a room here, calling a VP4 training. I'm going to play some 9 ball, put myself into the game. The yellow text at the bottom of the screen will help you get going. These are prompts for new users. It can be turned off in settings or by clicking the red X. Right below that, the mode shows the control mode. The mouse shows what happens when you move the mouse. I'm going to move the ball by pressing M and moving the mouse. Note that the mode and mouse displays both show that. To aim, move the mouse left and right. This rotates your view and the cue stick with it. If you pitch up and down, you can change the angle you're looking down at the table. To shoot, hold the S key down and move the mouse back and forth. The faster you move the mouse forward, the harder you'll hit the ball. So mouse speed controls your shot speed. Holding down the E key and moving the mouse moves the Q-tip on the cue ball. This allows you to put spin on the cue ball. Spin on the cue ball can be used to position the cue ball for your next shot. You can rotate to see a better view of the table, but a simpler way is pressing the X key. When X key is held down, you'll have an overhead. Releasing the X key snaps you back to aim mode. The Alt key toggles the cursor on and off. Pressing it, I'm bringing up the cursor. I can go over to the player list. I can look at players. I can go to the lobby and look at the lobby chat or look at players in the lobby. I can go back to the room tab or I could go up here and remove the new player prompting. Pressing the Alt key again removes the cursor. I can access an in-game menu by pressing the Escape key. This allows me access to other menus and settings and if I wanted to I could quit the match from here. This concludes our tutorial on the Virtual Pool 4 controls.